George Washington and William Lee, a study in contrasts and connections. John Trumbull's painting of George Washington and William Lee, completed in 1780 and currently on display at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 723, is a remarkable work of art that reveals much about the complex and contradictory nature of the American Revolution and its aftermath. The painting depicts Washington, the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army and the future first president of the United States, standing on a bluff above the Hudson River, accompanied by Lee, his enslaved valet, groom, and military aide. The painting is not only a portrait of two individuals, but also a representation of two worlds, two histories, and two destinies. Washington and Lee are shown in striking contrast, both in their appearance and their status. Washington wears a dark blue coat with gold buttons and epaulets, white breeches and stockings, and black boots and hat. He holds a rolled map or document in his left hand, and his right hand rests on his hip, holding his hat. His posture is confident and authoritative, his gaze is calm and commanding. He represents the military and political leader of the American cause, the embodiment of the ideals of liberty and democracy. Lee, on the other hand, wears a red coat with a white sash, white trousers, and a white turban. He stands slightly behind and to the right of Washington, holding his horse's reins. His posture is deferential and submissive, his gaze is lowered and respectful. He represents the enslaved and oppressed population of America, the antithesis of the ideals of liberty and democracy. Trumbull's choice to depict Lee in a turban is a curious and controversial one. It is based on a European Orientalist convention that associated turbans with exoticism and servility, often used to portray black figures in art. It is also a departure from reality, as Lee did not wear a turban in his actual life. Trumbull may have used this device to emphasize Lee's difference and inferiority, or to appeal to the European taste and market. However, he may have also used it to suggest Lee's dignity and nobility, or to hint at his connection to a wider world and history. Indeed, despite their apparent contrast, Washington and Lee also share some connections and similarities. They both served in the Revolutionary War, fighting for the same cause, albeit with different motivations and expectations. They both witnessed and endured the hardships and dangers of war, and they both contributed to the success and survival of the American army. They both had a personal and professional relationship with each other, marked by loyalty and trust, but also by inequality and dependence. They both had a complex and ambivalent attitude towards slavery, as Washington owned and freed slaves, and Lee was enslaved and freed by Washington. Trumbull's painting, then, is a study in contrasts and connections, a reflection of the paradoxes and tensions that shaped the American Revolution and its aftermath. It is a painting that invites the viewer to question and explore the meanings and implications of liberty and slavery, equality and hierarchy, unity and diversity, identity and difference. It is a painting that challenges the viewer to reconsider and reevaluate the roles and relationships of George Washington and William Lee, and their place and significance in American history and culture.